Welcome to this short screencast about how to use 3D Rerun for orienteering technical analysis. For this case, I assume that uh, the map is already in 3D Rerun, so we go here and click Browse Maps. Uh, we sort by competition and we choose the Swedish test races for the World Championships in France, which were held on May 28th in the NSC area. As we can see, there are already five different routes in 3D Rerun for this race. We choose the four first of them, because the last one is the one of Lena Eliasson in another class. We open the routes in 3D Rerun, and uh, the routes are now loaded onto Google Earth, as we see here. When all routes are loaded, the map is zoomed in and we can see the runners here along with the start and the course. By using the mouse we can zoom in and out and look at all of the course. We can also choose to use another map. Here we use the map of David Anderson, we can use the map of Eric Rust, the computer will load the map. We have to wait a little bit. We can rotate the view as we wait here. Here we can see the route of uh, Eric Rust. Uh, for this analysis I chose to use the map of Thomas Tlebaya because uh, he is using the newest version of DOMA where you can also upload maps without root. So for our analysis it looks a lot better with the map without root. I just close the help window here. Okay, so let's start the, uh, the analysis. The simplest form of analysis is to just let the runners run from a certain point on the map with a restart on each control. So uh, to start all runners at the same place, you hold the control button, click the left mouse button, and all runners are moved to, to this place. We click start to start the runners, and uh, you see they move towards the control. Okay, this was nice and fine, but uh, we can do a little bit better. Let's restart them here again. Let's click the toggle follow runner with camera icon and start again. And you see that now the map follows the runners. You can actually choose which runner to, to, to uh, follow. Now we follow David Anderson. We can also follow Eric Rust, Thomas Labaya, Gustav Bergman. Okay, let's stop them again. Go back to start. Now, instead of seeing them from above, we can rotate the view and uh, see them from the runner's direction, start them again, and as you can see, now we see them from behind. While the animation is running, we can also rotate by holding the mouse button and uh, the middle mouse button and rotating the view. We can also zoom in or zoom out. Okay, let's stop them again. There are some nice features here which makes it easier to, to do a fast analysis. Let's start them from the start again. And instead of using uh, the uh, start button here, we can just double click the left button. Now they start again. And uh, double clicking the left button again stops them. Double clicking the left button again, we start them. And with double click of the right button, you can toggle the following. So now they don't follow, now the camera follows again. Okay, then uh, in some cases, you want to do a full screen analysis, then you can hide the menu here on the left. So again, we can start with double click and we have them going here. Stop them again. Start from uh, the start again. 
and uh, you maybe saw that the analysis was a the, the, the animation was a bit too fast to do a real analysis so we put the speed down to uh, 4 t 4.5 times the real speed so when starting them now again you can see that it goes a lot slower okay that was uh, some animation what uh, I usually do in an analysis is to restart the runners at each control so now I can restart them all at the first control and uh, we start again from here take off the following and uh, we see how Bergman comes first to the control The leg to number 3 is an, inter an inter interesting one, a long leg. So uh, let us restart all runners on uh, number 2. Start them. And uh, now we can see how uh, David Anderson uses a lot of time out of the control. So Gustav Bergman is all the way down here, while Anderson is only up here. Uh, here we can see how Eric Rust increases his speed when he comes to um, to the path and uh, closes in on, on Bergman who has the direct route. Obviously the route around is faster than uh, the direct route okay now uh, for analysis it's good to be able to look at what happens on one leg only not looking at the animation so if we click the alt control on the alt key and the left mouse button on the second control and again on the third control we uh, get the roots of the runners So here you see in the table the approximate time of Gustav Bergman 3.15, Eric Rest 3.28, David Anderson 3.45, 3.41 and Thomas Labaya 4.22. And you also see here on the screen the uh, name of the runner, the time and how long he's been running, the distance he's been running. Okay, that's interesting enough, but even more interesting analysis can be to look at the uh, so-called um, chrono analysis in the advanced menu. There are a lot of advanced settings here, but this is the only one I'll go through here. You click for chrono analysis. You uh, go back in the left and choose only two runners. We want to compare Thomas Labaya with uh, Gustav Bergman. We repeat here, click, alt click on the second control, alt click on the third control and uh, we see how the leg developed. Actually we can, uh, it gets even better here if we put the chrono distance to three seconds and uh, repeat the analysis. So here we see the dynamics of uh, the leg, how uh, they use exactly the same time down to the path. Bergman is very fast over here. And uh, when Labaya is here, Bergman is already at the control. So one of the interesting possibilities you have in uh, 3D Rerun is to add other routes from the database. Uh, you do this, that by clicking add routes from database in the left here. A menu opens in the right and uh, the uh, program searches for other competitions or trainings in the database close to this one. For now it doesn't search in time, it only 
surges in distance. So you get up here a training by Goethe Halland Stever, which was uh, zero kilometer away. That means just in the same place. Also, a training in uh, Semnots by Eva Jurenikova, and so on. And uh, now for this uh, analysis, we don't add anything here, but I will go through adding analysis in another screencast. Okay, that was it for uh, for this demonstration. Thank you for uh, following, and uh, please send an email if you have other questions about how to use Tree Rerun for orienteering technical analysis.